Welcome guys to the breathtaking landscapes and vibrant culture of Mendoza. In this video, we are gonna be showing you life on a ranch, horse riding, feeding the llamas, trekking through the mountains and showing you how to navigate the wineries of Mendoza. Nestled in the northwest of Argentina, this enchanting province is renowned for great wine and mountainous landscapes of the Andes. just landed in Mendoza. So we've had like an hour and a half flight from Buenos Aires and we've come straight to La Parilla, which is a steakhouse, basically. And this is called? I have no idea. Ana Vistro. Ana Vistro, so we're at, and it's lovely. We're a little hungover today. Lots of wine last night. <coughs> you might better hear it in my voice. But we are now staying on a ranch for two days. It's called San Ignacio Estancia Andina. And yeah, we're really excited to be here. We're gonna be doing some horse riding soon. And I haven't done it at all in Argentina, so I'm really excited for that. And then, yeah, we've got all of our food included. So I think there's gonna be some really yummy food here as well. <music> just about to head out on our first horse ride of our stay. We've just been getting geared up and now we're gonna head out. I'm really excited. I haven't ridden a horse in years. Obviously, Lewis rode one when we first got to Argentina and he also had a few lessons um, before we came. So he is clued up. I am none the wiser. So yeah, let's go see what it's like. I think that I'm going to hiding Somewhere by a gated star Baby, they ain't never gonna find me I'm a renegade oh. I could be the one who saved you from this our play We could be as one and we'll escape So, we just finished our horse riding Bucket list Tick, finally ridden a horse in the Andes and we just had a load of empanadas. They were so so good and my now the Afternoon. So we both absolutely crashed after the horse riding. I know we had some lunch, we had empanadas, we got through lunch and then we've just been asleep. It's now nearly 7 pm. We've just woken up. Just had it. Nice cup of tea out on the deck in. Not much of a sunset. It's quite cloudy and you're surrounded by mountains so the sun's just kind of disappeared. But there's some more guests coming here from Chile tonight so we're waiting for them to arrive and then we're going to have dinner at about 9 o'clock and it looks like we're lighting up a kind of fire barbecue vibe so that's going to be good. Yeah, other than that, just such a chilled place, such a good place to relax. Loving it, haven't we? Yeah. Nice to not do anything. another day on the ranch. This morning we've been joined by some more guests and we are going on a hike or trekking. It should be about an hour and a half to two hours long. Yeah, we're ready for it, ready to get our steps in. Last night was wonderful, lots of chilling by the open fire, playing cards and had a really great sleep as well. Really comfy bed, didn't wake up till like nine, loved it and had a lovely breakfast. Lewis and the llama having a moment. So we're currently at the base of the Andes Mountains and we're going to be doing a trek for an hour and a half to two hours. Puma? Yeah. No. Yes, okay, Puma. This 
Ah, ok. We've reached the peak where we wanted to walk to. We've been told this is actually called Puma Puma Point, Puma Top, something like that. Um, it's actually a dead horse up here, the remains of, uh, which we've been told a Puma has caught. So there you go, we might not have seen one yet, but we have trodden in the same footsteps. Pretty cool. Now we're gonna make our way back down. It wasn't too bad of a hike. I've been gone about an hour. Probably take about 45 minutes to get back. And the views are, as always, in Argentina, spectacular. the day with brekkie and then went on a about two and a half hour trek which was really cool to see the landscapes up here in mendoza and then we came back and had a lunch made for kings and queens no joke it was so good we just had some relaxation time and we were lucky enough to go and feed the horses had a little run around with them in the paddock we fed the llamas and we've been playing around with the cats and dogs and now the fire's on we're having our afternoon tea i guess you'd call it i'm gonna read my book and Unwind into dinner. Hello, so we are at San Ignacio Estancia with my boy Tom, the cat, and we're going to give you a quick tour. We've been staying here it's just on the outskirts of Mendoza, been here for the last two days. Today we check out, and it's a lovely, lovely ranch in the hillside around here. So let's go show you inside. So there are four bedrooms here. I believe they're all doubles. We've got two main outbuildings. The first one I think is just accommodation and then we've been staying in the main building. So let's go show you around in there. So this is the main room where we had our dinners and breakfasts, a lovely, lovely fire where we've been sitting most evenings having a read. Uh, this is the kitchen, I haven't been in there. Here's our very messy bedroom because we're packing. It's always messy on these doors and just double bed, nice bathroom. So the whole place is run on solar power and they have to source their own rainwater and gas up here because there's no actual supply. So it's pretty cool how everything Run. And then we have this lovely decking space, which is where we've been having tea in the like lunchtime and in the afternoons. We had a really cool barbecue here yesterday, which was great. And then if you look out, this is all of the, the land. So you've got loads of hammocks that you can chill on. There's a seating area down the bottom. 
dog. It's been our mate the last couple of days. And that is basically it. We'll take you down the bottom now and show you the staples and the other animals that they've got on the fire. Outside oven. We haven't eaten here. It's been a bit too chilly, um, but really nice space if you want to chill here. So you've got the the workers live in this accommodation to the left, and then behind me you've got all of the stables with the horses. And then if you quickly look up there to the left, you might be able to see the llamas. Then let's go see the horses. So this was my horse the other day when we went horse riding. After having this one over here, I think that's your one. Yeah. It's pretty nice, you can just come down here, feed him whenever you want. Pretty cool. And that's basically it. So yeah, really nice few days. That's all there is to say, really. Nice being in the hills of Mendoza. Nice getting back on the horses. Yeah, highly recommend doing this if you come here. Hey guys, so we are back. This time from the center of Mendoza. We have been staying in our apartment already for one whole day, not been too feeling too fabulous. So we've just been getting some work done, but today we are out on a wine tour of one of the regions of Mendoza. We have hired some bikes and we are biking between our wineries. So we've just arrived at Via Monte and let's see what their wine's like. Really nice wines. Started at 10.30, so early doors to be getting on the vino, but we had three glasses of red, glass of white, paid for another glass of red. Yeah, really nice start. The buildings are lovely here. Really nice setting for the mountain backdrop, so good start to the day. Now, we're up on our next bike ride. So we just finished our second vineyard of the day, which was Bodega La Guerra. And we went for lunch at Fulgon in their restaurant. We didn't do a tasting. The lunch was really, really good. A little bit more on the expensive side, but thoroughly worth it. Had a really lovely time. Sat underneath a big tree in the vineyards. And now we are heading to our third and final vineyard of the day. And we're gonna do a tour and a tasting there. Here she is, helmet head. Got our bikes from Vista Alba Bikes. And we're going to Vista Alba Winery, the final bike ride. And then are you walking back? Come on! So we just finished, it's a little bit sunny just finished in our final winery of the day. We went to Vista Alba, I think that's how you say it. And we definitely saved the best till last. That was my plan all along. All of the wineries were really, really good, to be honest. But this one, the wines were just that much better. We're now gonna cycle back to the bike place, drop our bikes off and see what the evening has in store. So today has been another really busy day of working, so we haven't vlogged anything, it's really boring. But now we're heading out for some dinner for our final night in Mendoza. It's been a great time here and looking forward to one last meal and probably some really great wine. It's a very sad day guys. My camera's broken. I've been in mourning all day. We've come out to Alagia for some pasta and pizza. 
to lift the mood. We're hoping to fix the camera tomorrow, but it doesn't look likely. So we will let you know how we'll get on. But for now, we're just going to have to use Liv's little vlogging camera, which is very, very sad. Looks sad. Sad, sad face. guys for tuning into our video on Mendoza if you like what we do here you know what to do make sure you hit that subscribe button turn on your notifications share with your friends share with your family and stay tuned for our next adventure staying on a ranch for two days what's the ranch called we'll come back to this and then gonna we then gonna oh wow my hair looks awful so just finished wine well okay so today has been another really busy day of working so we haven't vlogged anything to show you because it's pretty boring but now we are heading out for some dinner oh i've just gone all blurry why is that happening